Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu and this is your Morning News Fix for Thursday 19th of September. In this update, exploding walkie-talkies have killed nine and injured at least 300 people across Lebanon. The BBC reports the blasts come a day after pages exploded across the country, killing 12 people, including two children, and injuring thousands. Multiple sources say Mossad, the Israeli spy agency, was targeting Hezbollah fighters. Israel has declined to comment. Hezbollah used pages after banning mobile phones earlier this year, saying they were too easy to track. The state of the economy in the last quarter will be revealed in today's GDP announcement. Analysts are expecting the economy contracted between 0.1 and 0.5% in the second quarter of this year. The March 2024 quarter showed just 0.2% growth. BNZ Chief Economist Mike Jones told Ryan Bridge their pick is a 0.4% contraction. That would be the fifth quarterly contraction out of the last seven. So very much in keeping with this idea that we've been in a rolling recession for, for almost two years now. The eight-week murder trial of Philip Polkinghorne is nearing a verdict, with the jury beginning deliberations this morning. The judge summed up the case yesterday. The Auckland eye surgeon's accused of killing his wife Pauline Hanna. His defence argues she took her own life. Herald reporter Craig Capitan told Ryan Bridge the jury only has two decisions, if it was murder or suicide. If I had to guess, I'd say uh, it's not going to be quick. And if they do go past today, court won't be sitting tomorrow, so we'll stretch into week nine. A gang patch ban in the homes of repeat offenders is set to pass in Parliament later today. It means a person convicted of flouting the public patch ban three times in five years will also have insignia banned from their residence. The Police Association says while it might work as a prevention measure, it would be confrontational and could increase tensions. Genetic testing for autism could provide clearer answers for many families. A 10-year Auckland University study has identified genes causing or associated with autism in 30% of autistic New Zealanders. It supports global evidence supporting genetic testing playing a role in diagnosis. Author Jesse Jacobson says it's been an encouraging study, especially since so many of the families had been seeking a specific diagnosis for a long time. It's helped us provide answers for families that can support tailored medical care, potentially for co-occurring conditions, and also help them plan for the future. The popular video game The Sims is coming to the big screen. Hollywood star Margot Robbie will produce the film alongside her husband Tom Ackerley. The Sims is hailed as one of the biggest computer game franchises of all time, played by more than 500 million players for a quarter of a century. In sport, Sri Lanka have advanced to 302 for seven. After the opening day of the first cricket test against New Zealand at Gaul, Willow Rourke returned figures of three for 54 from 17 overs. Former tennis world number one Naomi Osaka will play this summer's ASB Classic. Ilingi are out of the 37th America's Cup, eliminated 5-2 by Britannia in the Challenger Series semi-finals. The other duel remains alive with American Magic beating Luna Rossa twice to set the best of nine contest at 4-3. And I'm Neva Manu. That's the latest News Fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.